What's up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com As you can see today we're going to take a look at Love or Confusion by Jimi Hendrix Really cool song, pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated uh, The version that I was concentrating on is taken from the BBC Studio Sessions And uh, it's practically the same as the original version with the exception of the solo Which is a little bit shorter and also obviously you know Jimi never played uh, the same thing twice So it's a different different leaks and different solo, but we're still going to break it down in this lesson. Uh, the tabs are going to be available at guitarforce.com and also you can check out uh, the uh, backing track to this lesson. Um, speaking of Jimi Hendrix's style of playing, I have this huge lesson which is in two parts. It's called Get Experienced and like I said, it's concentrating on Jimi's style of playing. So if you're interested, I'm going to provide, uh, pro provide you with the links on the screen and in the description box down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, as far as the sound, again, I was using the same thing, the VST plugin guitar rig, and I'm going to show you the picture of the preset in just a moment. Tuning is going to be half step down on all the strings, so E flat technically. And also, um, if you would like to check out the playthrough cover of this song, you know, from start to finish, I'm going to also provide you with the links on the screen and in the description box down below. So you can check out from start to finish how the song goes, which is nothing too complicated, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, um, while you're checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string for your tuning reference, so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's take a listen to the intro part, then we're going to come back, close up and start the lesson. Let's check it out. So the intro part starts off with G5 chord and uh, it's basically like a G major but without the third so the G string is open okay it's a kind of typical Jimmy's um, uh, type of uh, chord that he would use sometimes so he would play only the octaves here and then the fifth as well on the B string but in this case because it's a G we have the G string open so he doubles up uh, the uh, G note so it starts off with just hitting the G chord and then we can switch the uh, pickup selector between um, the bridge and the neck pickups you know just to create this sound then we have a stop and then we have a slide out and the next part so here what we do is we just simply play the G chord again and then on this G string we're now going to be adding um, the hammer on on the fourth fret so it kind of creates a little melody okay so we have Okay, if you remember that, you know, you can play, uh, play it like that. Then we have a little lick here, so it starts off with the third fret on the B string, going to the fifth bend up, bring it down, pull off to the third, and then open G string to the fourth, pull off to open then play 5th fret on the D string and slide down to the F chord. And then we go to F suspended 2, so it's exactly the same shape and now the G string is also open, so it creates this the suspended second uh, interval in the chord. And here we have... Uh, just a, a slight bend here on the G string 2nd fret bring it down and then play the trill between open and 2nd fret and then we're back to the G uh, 5 chord 
So that's pretty much the intro. Um, then after that we go into the verses. Now the verses are very simple, so all we do is just we play between these two chords. Each chord is played for two bars, so we play the G5. Uh, there are a few ways how you can play it. You can hit the chord and just let it ring out. You can add you know, the tremolo arm to create these um, dips. You know, kind of psychedelic um, uh, vibe, if you will. Or you can just slightly, lightly pick the chord on lower strings. And then we, uh, we go down to the F suspended second and we do kind of same thing. So again, the tremolo arm, let it ring out or, you know, pick lightly the chord. And we play between these two chords for the verses. And then when we go to the chorus, all we do, we go up to the G, but um, up here on the 10th position. And we play this little lick. So we hit the G chord a few times. And then what, what I do here is simply playing some pull-offs on the D string going from 10 to 12. And you can use different variations here. You can either just uh, play the, uh, the hammer-ons, I'm sorry you know, grace note, hammer-ons, or you can do little licks like that. So I play the hammer-on from 10 to 12 and then pick the G string on a 10th fret. You know, again, like I said, different rhythm variations here. So you play the chord a few times, and then you add hammer-ons hammer-ons, uh, pull-offs, grace notes, and, and stuff like that. So we play these for a few times. And then after the uh, line, is this love, baby, uh, Jimmy's playing this. So here we're playing simply octaves, starting with the G octave. So in case you don't know what the octaves are, is simply playing on the low E string, in this case the G note, third fret, and then same uh, note but an octave higher, so it's going to be on the D string, fifth fret. And what we do, we play the G note, then we go up to the sixth fret on the low E, and we go down chromatically, so six, five, four, and we play it two times. And then we stop during the first, after the first chorus, and then getting back again to the uh, the second verse. So again, playing the same thing uh, between uh, these two chords, the G5, F uh, suspended 2. Again, same thing for the uh, second uh, chorus. Basically, we're just playing exactly the same thing as we did the first time. And then again, we have... Now, the second time when we play this, after we've played the end, the ending of, of the uh, chorus, we have a little break uh, where we play just the open strings, uh, D and a G string. If you get, if you catch the B string, it's going to be totally fine. So we play these two strings, and we play some dive bombs with the whammy bar, with the tremolo arm. And then the next part is going to be solo, so uh, let's take a listen to the solo first and then, it, then we're going to come back and break it down. So during the solo, we're going to be using three chords. The uh, rhythm guitar is playing three chords. So we have an A. We play this in A for... Uh, the bass is playing A for two bars. 
Then we go to F for one bar. To D for, for one bar. And then we repeat again. So A for two bars, F for one bar, D for one bar. And after that we have the ending of the solo. So now uh, let's break down the solo itself. We're going to do it uh, in licks and phrases. So the first part goes like this. Okay, so here we start off with bend on a B string, 8th fret. Bend it up, add some vibrato, then we go. 5 on high E, 8 to 5 on B. Then we have bend on the G string, 7th fret. And then we go 5 B, 5 high E. Again, on back to the B string, 8 to 5. Then we have... So it's a bend on the G string, quick one, and then even quicker we have 5, 7, 5, pull off on the G string. 7 on the D string, then get back to the G string again, 5, 7, kind of gradual bend. And then we have, so it's 5, 7 on G, 7 on D, 5 on uh, G string. So again slowly. And we have 7 on D, 5 to open, quick pull off uh, on uh, the D string as well. Then we go to F and we play this. So we're basically playing uh, the uh, F7 uh, uh, dominant uh, kind of arpeggio. So we have 8 on A string, 10 on D. Then we have a grace note from 8 to 10 on G string. Then we have a double stop, 8 on G and B. Um, so these were in 8th notes and then we have uh, 16th notes, so double stop. And then we go uh, back, kind of blues scale, 10, 8, I'm sorry, 10, 9, 8 on uh, the uh, D string. Little pause here and then 6 on D string to 8 on uh, the A. So one more time, slowly. Next part, now we go to the D chord and we play this lick. So sliding into the 9th fret on the A string, then we play 7 to 9 on D, 7 on G, and then we have a double stop here on the 5th fret of the G and the B strings, and in some vibrato, then we have 7 on D, 5 on B, back to D string 7th fret. Okay, so that's the lick in D, and then we're back to A and we play this uh, lick repetitive. So it's, um, first of all, we have a grace note. Um, first of all, we fret the high E and the B strings on the fifth fret. And then what we do, we play the grace note. So that means quick hammer on on the B string to from five to seven, while the high E at the fifth fret is also ringing. So we have this. And then we have a re reverse rake. So it's, um, Kind of again fretting the uh, first three strings or two strings, if you will. If you get the, uh, you know, the dead string, it doesn't really matter because it goes by fast. So we have, so we play the the hammer on the grace note first, and then we play a reverse rake. So um, basically dragging the pick across the strings, starting from the first one, going first, second, third, and then we play seven on uh, the uh, D string. So we have this. And we play this part, it goes out of uh, rhythm for a while, uh, but I, get, I guess that's, that was the, uh, the effect that Jimmy was looking for. So we have... We play this lick for five times, okay? And then after that we move to F again and we have... Sorry. So it starts off on the offbeat, so we have again 
um, kind of same idea, first of all with the grace note, but we're playing now on the first fret of high E and uh, B strings, and we have same uh, hammer on quick grace note uh, onto the third fret. <laughs> Then we simply play the double stop on the first fret of the high E and the B strings. And then play second fret on the G string. So we have So it starts off on the offbeat, you can play like that. So this um, the dead string is you kind of you know playing the first beat of uh, the bar. Um, and then play uh, this slick. So we have and Practically, we play it two times, so we have like that. Then we move the same idea to the D chord, and we play here. So the first part is just like we did with the F, so it's uh, on the fifth fret, again, high E and the B strings on the fifth fret, grace note, and this one as well starts off on the off beat, um, so just keep that in mind. So we have grace note from 5 to 7, back to the double stop initial on the 5th fret, then we play 7 on G, and then we have these kind of double stops going 5th fret, high E and a B, then 7 on G and the B strings to the 5th fret, and then we play just open strings, so we have like that. All right, so right after the lick in D where we have this part, after that we have the ending of the solo which goes like this. So here what we do, we're going to be using octaves and the first bar uh, we slide into the D octave, so we're going to be using the A on the 5th fret and G on the 7th fret, so we slide into it. We pick it a few times, you can use different, different rhythm here. Um, in this bar it kind of plays, um, Jimmy's playing 8th notes and uh, quarter notes sometimes, so... Then we move down to, in, in the end of uh, the bar, we move down to the C, octave, so simply shifting the whole position two frets down, so we have so from here we are sliding into the D octave again for the second bar, and in this second bar Jimmy's playing kind of 16th notes, so we have Then again, by the end of the bar, we go down to the C note. And then here we have um, just plain kind of part of the F chord. Open strings. And then just staying on this chord for almost the whole bar. And then after that, we repeat, we return back to the C octave. So after three, four, And again, after the F chord, when we get back to the C octave, we stay on it for uh, almost whole bar. Again, kind of picking, you know, uh, eighth notes. Then we have a slide out, and we back into the third verse. All right, so here's the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together. So after the solo, like I said, we get back to verse number three, uh, which is followed by chorus number three, which are exactly the same things that we did earlier. And then for the outro, we have... Um so here we're going to be using, after we play the octaves uh, in the end of the third chorus, 
we have uh, we stay on G and then we play open strings kind of dive bomb it slowly and then uh, we're basically just going to be playing uh, between G5 and F suspended too but uh, each chord is going to be played for one bar not two bars but one bar okay so we go between G and you can also add you know little um, melodies here Okay, so each chord for one bar and then we return to G and as we play the G chord stay on it for two beats one, two, and then play just flick the open strings again D and G and B if you catch it's alright and again dive bomb it return back to initial pitch and then again play exactly same thing so G F suspended to to G. So we play this for three times, and then the very end of uh, the uh, the outro is uh, we're going to be playing again the G chord to F suspended two. And here we have a stop. So the G part. Is, um, in the end uh, is going to be for two bars so we, we play the G chord then we hit it on the third beat of the bar a little rest and then play again okay so that's the only difference between the previous part you have a stop you pick the G chord again and then you play open strings and back to G again to F And that's how we finish it off. So you play the open strings and then you dive bomb it uh, with the tremolo arm. All right, so if I were to play the outro part, it's gonna go like this. Alright guys, so that's the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you did like the lesson, please hit the thumbs up button. Also comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the forest be with you.